You know, Abraham did not just step into wealth. There was a wealth training that the father put him in. There's a wealth training that the blessing of Abraham starts in your life. And it's to uh, mold your mentality into being ready at all times for sanctification. I mean, the escape from a toxic person. The readiness for travel, which means the area that you're in may not be the final destiny. The readiness for adaptation or agreement with God. Remember the father sent the three angels to tell Abraham about Sodom and Gomorrah. He had to have readiness for adaptation, agreement. The readiness for sacrifice. He had to offer up his only son and then the readiness for sowing. He had to have the readiness to honor Melchizedek. One thing that happens in the blessing of Abraham, though you are a wealth carrier in that anointing, is that you will know who your Melchizedek is. As you can see, Abraham was able to discern that there was someone that had a mightier mantle than him financially. I just saw a woman in the crib. Um, she is in the car seat. A true story, she was on the grass just now. I, I don't know what's happening in, um, the only thing she did have was a pacifier. I don't know. And she was rocking, um, she was rocking herself, mind you, that she wasn't rocking. Nobody was rocking her, she was rocking herself. But Abraham had a soul discerning anointing. Write that down. Write that down, says that's powerful. The blessing of Abraham give you a soul discerning anointing. It lets you see who your soul is, your Melchizedek. And it creates your financial wisdom to stay connected to that person. A sore discerning anointing.